The Epistle of Ignatius to the Romans Ignatius, who is also called Theophorus, to the Church which has obtained mercy through the majesty of the Most High God the Father and of Jesus Christ his only begotten Son, the Church which is sanctified and enlightened by the will of God, who formed all things that are according to the faith and love of Jesus Christ our God and Saviour, the Church which presides in the place of the region of the Romans, and which is worthy of God, worthy of honour, worthy of the highest happiness, worthy of praise, worthy of credit, worthy of being deemed holy, and which presides over love, is named from Christ and from the Father, and is possessed of the Spirit, which I also salute in the name of Almighty God and of Jesus Christ his Son. To those who are united, both according to the flesh and spirit, to every one of his commandments, who are filled inseparably with all the grace of God, and are purified from every strange taint, I wish abundance of happiness unblameably, in God, even the Father, and our Lord Jesus Christ. Chapter 1. As a prisoner, I hope to see you. Through prayer to God, I have obtained the privilege of seeing your most worthy faces, even as I earnestly begged might be granted me. For as a prisoner in Christ Jesus, I hope to salute you, if indeed it be the will of God, that I be thought worthy of attaining unto the end. For the beginning has been well ordered, if I may obtain grace to cling to my lot without hindrance unto the end. For I am afraid of your love, lest it should do me an injury. For it is easy for you to accomplish what you please, but it is difficult for me to attain to God, if ye do not spare me, under the pretense of carnal affection.